Rally, our main focus is on specific language impairment or SLI. Specific language impairment is identified when the child has difficulties in talking or understanding and these difficulties can't be explained by an obvious cause such as hearing loss or general developmental delay or some medical syndrome. We also rule out cases where a child is learning to speak a second language but is doing fine in their first language. So SLI is specific in the sense that it doesn't have an obvious explanation. But this doesn't necessarily mean that language is the only source of difficulty for the child. In fact, quite the opposite is true. Most children who have SLI will have some other difficulties. It's just that language is the most obvious problem. For instance, in another rally video, Maggie Snowling describes how reading builds on language skills. And so it's not surprising that many children with SLI struggle to learn to read and spell. In fact, they may be diagnosed with developmental dyslexia. Some children with SLI are unusually inattentive, and they may be uncoordinated or have problems with maths. Others have difficulties making friends and may show mild autistic features. Sometimes the child receives more than one diagnosis, so that as well as being recognised with SLI, they may be given another label, such as ADHD or Autistic Spectrum Disorder. Parents may be confused by this and wonder which diagnosis is right. But in most cases, the answer is that the child genuinely has features of more than one condition. Overall, any diagnostic system that tries to put children into neat categories is unlikely to work because reality isn't like that. Every child is unique with a different mixture of strengths and difficulties. Diagnostic labels can be useful for getting help for children, but they don't tell us everything about the child, and they may lead us to focus too much on one area of difficulty and not notice others. Rather than worrying too much about specific labels, it's important to find out the exact nature of the difficulties. We need to find out how they affect a child's life and what can be done to help. This is why it can be useful for a child with language problems to be seen by a team with expertise in a range of areas, including medicine, psychology, physical development, as well as speech and language therapy. We don't fully understand what causes a child to have SLI jointly with other difficulties, although this is an active area of research. I'll say a bit more about this in the slides and references associated with this video, which you can find by following the links here. Thanks for listening.